Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, part two of tonight. I'm trying to get through this box of pods that Tweet Serex was nice enough to send me. Uh, just out of the blue, sent me a box of pods. Very nice, very nice. Uh, awesome pods. Uh, they've been excellent so far. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, take a look at some of my other videos. You'll see those. Uh, there's also some good videos of Silver Surfers peppers uh, from the uh, Hot Pepper forum.com. Uh, he does some excellent peppers also. Uh, all sorts of uh, kind and generous people uh, and willing to share knowledge and uh, seeds and peppers and any other information you want to gather on uh, pepper growing, dehydrating, uh, whatever, you name it. Uh, it's over at the hotpepperforum.com. Once again, I get no kickbacks. Trust me, the dude. Just happens to be one of the best forums or websites to go to for information on growing hot peppers or peppers. There's some other areas in there for uh, doing non-pepper stuff. So uh, what I did a few minutes ago was the Batali crossed with the Cleo's Dragon. Uh, excellent pepper. And now I am back to do this pretty licking pepper. This here is called a Banda Majak. Hopefully I'm not butchering the name too much, but um, I know nothing about this. I have absolutely no clue on heat, taste, flavor. Oh wait, I do know something. It's yellow in the have one right here. That's what I know. I know I'm going to eat it. I know that too. So, um, let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open and take a look inside. Okay, there we go. Inside of that one. Nice. Uh, a lot of nice placenta down here, or up here, kind of running down the side there. Um, placenta or glands, whatever you want to call them, even though the glands usually are. Glands are up here near the top. I don't know if the placenta is considered part of the gland or not, but either way, uh, I believe both, if they're not one of the same, secrete the capsaicin. And here's the other side. Focus, man, focus. So I like to show up close on these uh, just because it's interesting to always see the inside of these peppers. It's why I take always, even if it takes me a few, there we go, for it to sharpen up. To me, it's always nice to see what the inside of these look like. Um, as you can see, some uh, nice looking placenta in there. Looks good. Um, yeah, so uh, what's up now is deseeding time, and then I will be right back. In the back. Bam! Just like that. It's magic. It's pepper magic. Okay, all nice and deseeded. Might not look like it. Placenta's all there. I may sound like a broken record. You guys might get tired of hearing me say the same things. Um, I like to. I like to say the same things over and over again. Um, I just do because uh, I never know when someone's going to come in and start watching my videos. Uh, they, if they've watched them all, they're probably completely annoyed by me repeating myself. Uh, but if it's the first time, then you don't know. So I like to say the same things. So uh, I like to show the same thing, show that I'm not cutting out anything but just the seeds. Placenta is always in there. And once again, the heat does not. Technically, that you could argue that the seeds have heat on them but they don't contain heat by themselves. It's just the capsaicin gland. Uh, the gland has secreted capsaicin over the seeds to protect them from animals eating them. Uh, apparently not humans, because, well, sure, I could chomp down them. Uh, so yeah, so I clean, I take those out. Uh, that's for growing later. Oh well, yeah. And um, yeah, so this is a Bond de Majoc. It smells a lot like um, the Fatali cross with Cleo's dragon that I just did. Uh, she's got that same kind of similar smell. Um, I guess Devil's Tongue too. I guess it'd be kind of kind of similar to that also. 
What is that smell you say, right now? Um, it's kind of hard to describe. Habanero-ish, kind of. Um, it's got a kind of a tangy smell to it. You can kind of sometimes smell the heat coming off of it. Um, so why don't I just eat it and find out what that smell and all that means? <clears throat> why? Well, because uh, this is my procrastination segment. <laughs> Tell them what they've won. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so procrastination segment. Just because you never know what you're getting into here. Uh, my stomach is still on uh, on fire. It's not say on fire. It's, it's got some heat. Some heat going moving around in there. That's from the last pepper. Uh, that I just did a few minutes ago. It's probably more like 15 to 20 minutes ago. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm doing another one so soon after the other because I wanted to, to get to the ones uh, that I wasn't able to from the last box that I uh, bought from Tweak Xerox. Um, so they go, you know, by the time he picks them, they get mailed, uh, and I start working my way through the box. You know, some of the ones I haven't gotten to yet start to get a little bit on the softer side, and peppers can start getting a little off. You know, they get a little, little chemical uh, flavor to them. They get a little, uh, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but you just know. You just know they're off. Um, so, you think, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with this guy. I mean, I, I know I don't think it's a super hot. No, I really don't think it's considered super hot. I would say probably not, right? you think I'd know that. Um, and you'd also think I wouldn't be procrastinating on eating it. But, all right. Excuse me. Um, okay. I think my nose is still running a little bit from the first one. <clears throat> that little piece there, it was off. Um, as you can see, even on fresh peppers, you can get, I don't know if you saw it, but there was like a little, little tiny black dot. Happens sometimes the seeds get a little black on them. Not the seeds had them, but there was a couple little dots. Might have been that, but the rest of it was very nice tasting. Um, nice and crunchy. A little more crunchy than the Batali Clio. Uh, cross that I just ate. Um, not too sweet. Uh, it really didn't have a whole lot of sweet flavor to it. I can tell you it's hit my uh, nose right off the bat and a very light heat uh, to my tongue right now. Not the back of the throat. Um, it had no chemical flavors to it, no capsaicin uh, type flavor, <clears throat> just the full flavor of the pot itself. I would say very, very subtle, very subtle, uh, kind of a citrus undertone. Man, it's hit my nose right right away. Wow. <clears throat> not much on the heat. Uh, like I said, it's not. Uh, it maybe built up a, a little bit. Excuse me. But uh, kind of on the front of the tongue, roof of mouth. All towards the front of my mouth.
I'm not sure this is going to get much hotter. Uh, so a mild heat, good flavor pod. Oh, it's a nice heat. It's a nice smooth heat, uh, much like the Fatale Clio, where the no little sharp stabbing or uh, hot coal. It's it's actually it's moving back on my tongue, not in the back of roof, uh, not in the back of my mouth. More all on my tongue. Well, wait a second. Now it's kind of moving. Now that I've said something, moving towards the back of my throat a little bit. But not in a hot coal type way. This all has a kind of a buzzing heat to it. If that makes sense. It's all real well rounded, and it's not uh, pulsating. It's not um, sharp. It doesn't hurt. It's mainly staying on my tongue. I like it. I like that heat. that type of heat's nice. Um, one thing you experience. For anyone who's not experienced with eating too many hot peppers out there, uh, is that you start to learn pretty quickly that, excuse me, sorry for that, that uh, a pepper's heat can hit you in all sorts of different ways, not just in the placement in your mouth or throat, but uh, the way it hits you, the, the way the heat hits you, the way, whether it's a, a slow climb, whether it's a step up step up step up like a pulsating uh, or whether it's just a uh, bam hit you high and then it starts to taper off it can be very smooth and gradual and hits a sharp peak and then drop right off it can sometimes uh, gradually get higher and then very slowly taper off it's it's very interesting um, I think if I hit the hottest point excuse me the hottest point of this pepper and I like the heat it's a good heat. I like it uh, just because it's staying right there on my tongue and uh, it's a little different than the seven pots I've been doing or the other super hots or even the, the Patali which kind of went to the back of my throat a little bit. Um, this one's staying mainly on the tongue <clears throat> and apparently attacking my nose. Yeah, that. I'll do a, a review on that later for those who don't know where their nose is at. I told you, I'm Captain Obvious sometimes. All right, well, excellent pepper. I wish I could give you more on the flavor. It, um, I don't think it had like a whole lot of flavor to it. It just was a, a nice crunchy pepper. I, I even saying lightly sweet. I, I don't even think it would be lightly sweet. Um, the, the very little, maybe a citrus undertone in there. Um, but great heat. I like the heat on this a lot. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's up there with the habanero. Wow. I'm amazed at where this the, the heat's hit me. I haven't had one hit me in the nose like this at all. Um, I may get a little bit of a, of a runny nose on a couple of the super hots and stuff, but nothing that just like kept going. Whew. Well, so uh, nice heat. I can, I really love the way that heat hits you on that one. Um, kind of a break from the norm. That might be what it is. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, uh, please put any comments that you have, any constructive criticism down below, please. Uh, I feel like I'm still uh, treading through this and uh, trying to provide some valuable information. Stumbling through it, working on my confidence with it. So. You know, even if it's a, a, a dude, don't talk so much. Uh, please show us uh, more of the pepper, you know, or uh, please just get straight to the point. Um, more information you'd like to know, less information, whatever it is, please put it down below. Uh, I am open to suggestions. I've had suggestions on changing the background here. I got to figure that out because it's not so easy for me to move my stuff and put it in a place to uh, where I can get a better background because. It'd be nice if I could put my peppers uh, that I'm growing in the background. But I usually do these at night, so you really wouldn't see much anyways there. So I'll try to figure out something. Um, any suggestions on that, please put it below. 
I'll put uh, more information on the uh, review of this pepper down below also. So once again, uh, thank you for watching and hopefully you were entertained. And that's done. And I'm done. Thank you. Have a good night.